Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Uh, today's question comes uh, from Saba. Uh, his question is, Boyan, please make a video about what do you think about Orthodox Christians smoking cigarettes? My priest tells me that it is a major sin, yet we have a saint who was actively against Russian occupation in the 19th century and as a public figure, writer, etc. while smoking. I think that if you smoke all the time and damage your health, it is a sin, but if you smoke sometimes on your friends' birthdays and so on, not as of, uh, often as a regular smoker, it's not a sin. Make a video, please. Uh, thank you for your question, Saba. Um, okay, uh, there's a lot to unpack here, but generally the opinion of uh, the Orthodox priests is that smoking is a sin. And it is an interesting thing that, from what I have seen, that at least in Western uh, Catholic circles, uh, smoking isn't seen uh, as much of, uh, of an issue uh, because it is associated with an image of a Catholic gentleman, you know, using a pipe or rolling tobacco or smoking a cigar, think of Chesterton, Tolkien and so on. Uh, however, uh, in the Orthodox Church, uh, gener the general consensus is that smoking is a sin and also in the Serbian Church that every other priest smokes. <laughs> that is simply uh, the way things are here. Uh, in uh, the Serbian Orthodox Church uh, in Montenegro, in famous uh, Ostrog Monastery, uh, we have a famous hero monk, and we might as well say a bit of a wonder worker, uh, called Father Joel, and he is famous for his slogan, smoking is the incense of the devil. And um, uh, like your priest, uh, he would say that smoking is a major sin, and in all probability, he wouldn't let people uh, take communion unless they vow to quit the habit. And there's a bit of an anecdote going around in the Serbian church, uh, because uh, the Ostrog Monastery is probably the biggest pilgrimage site uh, in the Balkans, with the possible exception of Medjugorje. And uh, anyway, uh, this bus of pilgrims came. And at the time, there was a, a church warden who was an avid smoker, and uh, Father Joel uh, forbade him to smoke. And, you know, his hands were shaking because he was so deep in the habit. So, uh, these uh, pilgrims uh, came to the upper monastery. If you know how Ostrog looks, uh, it is basically a monastery carved into a rock, but there are multiple buildings and edifices uh, in that cliffside. Um, and the first thing that Father Joel said to those uh, pilgrims was immediately throw all of your uh, cigarettes uh, uh, into, into the chasm. And there was that uh, poor church warden shaking and praying, Oh Saint Basil, the wonder worker of Ostrog, please just give me one cigarette. And at, at that moment, a ton of cigarettes fall from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the uh, you know a, a little of a, a funny story that goes around and there's also uh, a story from the canonization of Saint Nikolai uh, of Ohrid and Zhica uh, Velimirovich uh, when he was about uh, when they were deciding whether to canonize him or not and patriarch Paul who was also a very saintly man he was sort of opposed to canonizing him and I believe that one of his reasons for opposition was that uh, Saint Nikolai smoked, um, uh, and uh, uh, one of his comments was, "Well, maybe we should pin him on the icon, uh, on the icons with a pipe in his hand." So uh, you know, uh, uh, our vices and our passions are usually misuse and misappropriation of our natural inclinations. Gluttony uh, is our misuse of our need to eat and uh, recover energy. Uh, lust uh, is um, uh, misappropriation of our need to pro uh, procreate. Um, uh, uh, despondency usually has to do uh, with uh, us sleeping too much or not sleeping too much and so on. However, the fathers of the church called avarice or greed the unnatural vice in the sense that it is not something that belongs to our nature. It is completely caused by something outside of us that is... Uh, um, we do not have the idea of money embedded into us. And I can only imagine what uh, the Holy Fathers, ancient Holy Fathers, that is, uh, would think of smoking, because it is a vice and a habit that 
uh, has literally no equivalent. You'll, you're literally inhaling smoke that does not even smell all that pretty. You know, it's not a scent. It's not, uh, uh, it's not uh, something that you associate with flowers or perfumes or what have you. Uh, so you inhale that and uh, by doing so, you cause yourself pleasure in some weird way. Uh, they would have far easier time understanding drugs because, you know, uh, they could compare it to being drunk and so on. But with smoking, I think they would be flabbergasted, you know. Uh, you're, sm you're inhaling a smoke from a plant and somehow it makes you feel good and somehow you can't stop or you can barely stop. Uh, now, personally, and again, this is personally, this is my opinion, and you need to realize that my opinions aren't of much worth, and I'm completely serious when I say this. I'm a guy on the internet, uh, even though I'm a reader, but uh, I'm still a guy on the internet. Uh, is that uh, smoking um, uh, isn't a major sin if you do it as you described, you know, on occasion and so on. But the biggest issue with smoking is that it is uh, rarely that, you know. Uh, if uh, you can smoke, uh, the odds are that uh, you at least at some point were a regular smoker. It is similar to gambling. Um, I can go in, uh, in, a, in, a, uh, in a casino and use a slot machine and simply know that I won't get hooked. But then again, how, uh, who can guarantee that I won't get hooked? And I think that there's a lot of people who have gotten addicted to a, a host of bad stuff simply because they were like, I can quit anytime. Uh, the, the sole reason I, can, uh, I wouldn't get uh, hooked on gambling, for example, is because I don't find gambling interesting one bit. But I'm quite gluttonous. So, you know... I do have my passions. Um, uh, it is my advice that you should listen to your priest, you know, simply try to avoid it as possible. If it's once a year, again, it's your priest, uh, so listen to your priest, uh, despite, uh, despite what I or whoever... You know, the thing is, the biggest issue with this, I ask somebody on the internet, is that... Um, you can find opinion on anything in all the ways possible. I bet you can find reasons why smoking is good for you. I bet you can find why broccoli is bad for you, and so on and so forth. So your priest is the, is the person to go because uh, you belong to his parish, and maybe he's even your spiritual father, I do, not, I do not know about that. So maybe your spiritual father would take some precedence over your parish priest. Uh, but uh, uh, keep, uh, keep having the opinion that you have and uh, listen to your priest. Because after all, even if uh, I personally don't believe that smoking a cigarette once, a uh, once or twice or three times a year is that bad, the fact of the matter is that, uh, 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 is that uh, it is an ex extremely bad habit, it is an unnatural habit. And yes, while there were saints who smoked, um, it was simply in vogue with the times. And uh, I don't know, I think up to the 60s, people had no idea how unhealthy it was. Uh, I think you could even smoke on the plane um, in the 50s or 60s, you know. You could, uh, people were smoking in hospitals. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, uh, this has uh, gone long enough. Uh, don't do it. There's that famous joke. Uh, well, if you did not smoke, uh, you could have bought uh, a Porsche by now. And the smoker says, well, where is your Porsche? So th there is something to be said about that too. But uh, there is no reason for us to increase the number of battles that we need to fight. Uh, we need to fight our passions and we do not need... Uh, uh, an additional passion that is totally alien to our, our nature. I mean, we don't need even those that are uh, within our nature, but uh, we need these even less. Uh, I hope I was of some use to you and listen to your priest primarily. 
बाय